They smell kind of like pot. That's great. The kids' shoes smell like pot. What, what would I say is a southerner? Like a, a like a whore in church. Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. My, my name is Amanda, and I go by Hedonist Seller on all platforms, which will be linked down below. I'm a full-time seller on Poshmark, as well as eBay and Macari. So on this channel, you'll find everything dealing with reselling from what's old videos to unboxings to hauls, as well as some tips and tricks along the way. So if all that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can come back and see more of my videos. Oh, it is been a rough day, <sighs> rough day. Um, you know, I love my daughter and she's amazing, but parenting is not easy. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm just gonna put that out there. It has been a rough day. I'm pretty tired. Um, this box came in. This is going to be a thread up unboxing video, by the way, I didn't say that. Um, it is 15 pairs of shoes. I know I just recently did a couple of them. Um, which were really good. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm very hit or miss with thread up. I tend to do better with shoes and purses than I do the clothing, men or women. Um, that is because it seems like my clothing always comes from Georgia. I am from Georgia. And the place they send it from, Swanee, Georgia, is only a couple hours away. Um, and whenever I get boxes from there, they're not that good. Um, so my other shoe boxes that I got were from Arizona. This one is from Pennsylvania, so we can compare it a little bit. Um, this is 15 pairs of shoes. I don't really know my cost of goods because um, I don't remember. I'll put it across the screen. I know that I bought this with credits because I sent in some Stell inventory, purchased it with that. Um, I also have a, a denim box coming in, DIY denim. So we will be seeing that on my channel soon. But this should be a quick video. It's just 15 pairs of shoes. This box got a little rained on. It like rained earlier and my our garage door was open and it was in the garage, but I guess it rained really hard and sideways. So the top part of it got wet, but I don't think, I don't think it got into the shoes below. We will see though. <laughs> oh my God. I should have bought a knife. Or a box. All right. So Here's my receipt so I can go ahead and tell you what it costs. It costs $80 for 15 pairs of shoes. Shipping is free on ThreadUp um, with anything over 70 or 75 so I did not have to pay for shipping. Let's see what I got. All right. This are, this are, these are grasshoppers designed for your health and wellness. Um, I don't think I've ever seen these before. They're in good shape. Tan. I'm not sure they're um, worth a lot of money. They kind of remind me of, like nursing shoes. Well, these are a 10 narrow, which is not excellent. Um, but I'll look them up. So these are Skechers. These kind of look like vintage Skechers. Look at these. Um, so these are not exciting either, really. I don't have that great of luck with Skechers. Even the ones that they, um, say do well, the ones that like when you walk, they slant your foot. What are those called again? What are those called? Everyone says they do well, and I've had a pair since I started reselling, and they've still never sold. And I've relisted them for lower and lower amounts of money. Um, these also don't have the size, which really sucks. Okay, moving on. What are you? I'm not feeling good about this so far. Um, the Jibs Life. Okay. <laughs> um, the Jibs Life. I don't know what that is. At the Jibs Life. I have no idea what this is. The fabric is interesting. Is this animal fur? It's like mesh animal fur. Um, made in Brazil, US 7. Maybe they're good, I don't know. They're like mesh, but I feel like this is like animal hair on it. I don't know, I'll have to look these up. Maybe these are worth something. <sighs> Looking in this, I'm not seeing anything great, which is not, not good. Hmm. Um, my other boxes were better so far. Uh, so these are a pair of Sam Edelman. That's not bad. Um, just, you know, little black biker boots with these studs. Kind of like an older style, I think. Does it have the size? Yeah, size five. Great. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a teeny shoe. Ooh, ooh, I wonder. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because those looked tiny too. All right, then we got a pair of leather shoes, nothing on the bottom. Um, 
like a wedge booty. What are we? Oh, J. Jill. Okay, I have gotten J. Jill shoes in the past. I'm pretty sure I still have them. <laughs> but this is a nicer style than the other pair. I've gotten um, a little wear here on the straps. But not so bad. Does it have a size? J. Jill. You would think it had a size. There's a lot of sides. No, oh, wait, I think, nope, nope, nope. All right, well, I don't see a size so far, so that's, that's not great. I don't like selling shoes that don't have a size. Oh, oh, size 10. All right, that's, that's okay, that's good. Size 10, found it. Um, pair of Aldo Hills, they are patent leather. I mean, I don't, I don't pick up Aldo at the thrift store, so I would not have picked these up. Oh, sizes over here. Um, size six and a half. These are smaller. I wonder if they're all from the same people. Not all. Some of these are tens, but you know what can happen in thread up is like if you get a dud box, it all like tends to be the same size because I feel like they just like move um, the stuff over. Yeah. So here's a size eleven tan patent leather. These are Kelly and Katie. I see these. I think they're sold at DSW. Not a lot of resale value. Um, what are you? You are Tamarack. I don't know what Tamarack is. Tamarack. Tamarack shoes, size six. I think they might be house shoes. Um, kind of look like Uggs. By the way, these aren't wet, so that's good. I'm sweating. The humidity. The humidity is so high in Georgia right now. Ooh. All right. Okay, Steve Madden. I would not have picked these up. I picked up shoes like this before, or gotten shoes like this in a thread up box, and they they sit. Um, I think these are small too. I feel like yeah, six and a half. I feel like I've been getting two two people's shoes. There's someone with a small foot and someone with a ten eleven. All right, these are Charles by Charles David. Maybe that's something. Um, they are a nice brown boot. I don't know this brand. Here's Charles. I don't know if you can see that. Charles by Charles David. Um, they're like a suede, so that's nice. Made in India. And I don't see a size. The bottom. Yeah, size seven. Um, you know, just your standard suede boot. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm sweating like a. I don't know. What, what would I say is a southerner? Like a, like a horde church. Um, <laughs> uh, so this is Dulce Vita. So Dulce Vita, or yeah, Dulce Vita, um, has two different um, lines. I'm pretty sure this is the um, higher price line. There's also DV, which I think is sold at like Target. Um, these are cute, little platform sandal. Ooh. These look cool. I don't know if they're good, but they look cool. You know, somebody has said that if you get these little green tags, that it was on Rent the Runway. So maybe these are good. Or the green tags mean something. Um, anyway, Stubbs and Wooten. I mean, it looks like these might be expensive. Cat's Paw, Stubbs and Wooten, made in Spain, genuine leather, size nine. And they have like swordfish on them. Oops, that doesn't help. So possibly this one's good. I don't I don't know the brand, but just based on the green tag and that it's made in Spain. Um, these are Hannah Anderson, so they are a pair of kids slides, size something. They smell kind of like pot. That's great. The kids' shoes smell like pot. Um and Anderson is a pretty good kids brand, or so I've heard. Um, and kids shoes, dang. You know, now that my daughter is about to start walking and I'm looking at shoes for her, holy crap, kids shoes are like as expensive as adult shoes. And it's stupid because they grow out of them so quickly. Anyway, rant. So I'm sure somebody will buy those so they don't have to pay $80 for a pair. $80, it's more like $35, $40 for a pair of kids shoes. Um, these are bass, like as in the bass store. Um, I'll look them up. Uh, they might not be worth selling. Uh, okay. Only one thing left. 
I am, this was not, it was in a bad box. It just wasn't great. Um, I mean, it wasn't horrible. But these are a pair of Sam Edelman platform heel, um, heels, open toe. Kind of look like stripper shoes. I could put that um, in the title. They're seven and a half. It's my size. <laughs> like, I wear those. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah. So I gotta say, I like the Phoenix boxes way better. Um, although I'm interested to see how much those Wooten or whatever shoes go for. Um, but anyway, guys, what did you think? Did you think this was a good box? Or were my last shoe boxes better? Let me know down below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe if you want to come back and see more of my videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.